Fire crews are tonight scrambling to contain a number of bushfires that have hit emergency level right across the state. On the south coast, the fire... The uh, in-laws' property was in Braidwood, so the fires weren't too far from there. We wanted to set up and make sure the property was all right, uh, and then we thought, you know, we'll, we'll go around, jump in the truck and, and have a look, see if anyone else needs some help. Totally different thing when you when you come face to face with a with a wall of fire and you're on the on the front line there. Just the heat coming from the fire. They, they were as high as the trees and they were just bearing on us. You know, to that point you're thinking, well, you can't imagine if anything worse was to happen. My brother-in-law is actually a, a YouTuber. He took a GoPro around, strapped to him, and there was one field fire that just got out of hand and the fire started surrounding us and um, we started to sort of look around and thought, you know, when's a good time to drop the hose and go sort of thing. But, you know, we had our ground for a bit and then we heard the head fiery sort of say, you know, everyone get the F out. Right, right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because of the smoke, it was thick, the fire overbearing us, I actually, I felt so powerless and I, I was actually stunned. Like, what do I do now? Stop, 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 stop. Next thing you know, a tree sort of falls in front of the truck. So I'm thinking, right, we're just going to have to leave this thing and leg it. But, um, you know, quick thank you from my father-in-law. Got a rope out of the truck. Pulled the, the tree as much as he could using the truck to get it out of the road. And you're looking around and, and the people around you are like, oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to leg it. I'm not going to uh, leave these boys behind. But, you know, there's that thought in the back of your head like, all right, we're getting, this is getting pretty close. That's exactly what it was. Uh, you know, a feeling of, of hopelessness. We've been active, you know, ever since we got home. The club got right behind it. One weekend they had a training session and any donation from any fans that wanted to come in and help and they put barbers in, uh, food, free food, free drink, just a donation and it was so pleasing to see that the club, you know, got involved with, with something so devastating like that.